Hi guys, it's April. Hope you're having a great week. It's summer. Well, it's almost summer, so I wanted to share with you some sun care tips and tricks as we get ready for summer. So before I share with you the actual products that I use and like, um, you guys probably have heard skin cancer is one of the most common cancers and it's actually increased three times over the last 35 years, which is really scary. Um, I've read some studies that say adults don't wear sun protection, they don't wear sunscreen, and they don't wear hats and sunglasses when they go outside. They're much more susceptible to damage from the sun. You should also be sure to visit your dermatologist once a year to get an overall skin check as they'll check for any moles and spots and things like that that may be precancerous and, and help get those removed from your skin. So there's a ton of different sun care out there these days and it's kind of hard to shop through the aisles and know what's good and what's bad and what you should be putting on your skin and what you shouldn't. Um, really, you don't need anything less than an SPF 15. SPF 15 should be like your minimum requirement for what you purchase. You also don't need anything higher than an SPF 50. Anything higher than an SPF 50 isn't really doing anything additional, any additional protection for your skin. And SPF stands for the sun protection factor, and that is actually the protection from the UV, UVB rays, which are the rays that will burn your skin. The other rays from the sun, the UVA rays, are the rays that are responsible for aging your skin. So you wanna make sure you get a sunscreen or sun protection that prevents against both UVA and UVB rays. The sun is responsible for 80% of the aging on your skin, so that's where the UVA ray protection comes in super handy. Um, so you protect against things like wrinkles and skin pigmentation and sagging of your skin and your skin being really dry. To protect against UVA rays, you wanna find sun care that has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as the active ingredients. So those are the ingredients that will help protect, again, the UVA rays, which age your skin. You also want to look for sun care that doesn't have oxybenzone in it. Oxybenzone is a chemical that when it's applied actually gets absorbed into your skin and absorbed into your bloodstream. It mimics estrogen and so it wreaks havoc on your health and on your body. The other ingredient you want to stay away from in your skincare is retinol polymate and this is used in night cream a lot of times. Um, and in sun exposed skin, this chemical actually speeds up the process of skin tumors and lesions on your skin. So you wanna stay away from those two ingredients in your, skin, in your sun care. Um, the other thing that's important to note, you guys, is sun care expires just like any other product does. Sun care usually has an expiration date of a year out from when you purchase it. Um, so be sure to look at the bottle for when the expiration date is on your sunscreen. All right, so pause the video. Go get all of your sunscreen and collect it. Look at the expiration date. Anything's expired, toss it. Look and see if it has active ingredients of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those are good, hang on to those. Now check the ingredient list and see if it has oxybenzone or retinol polymate. If it has either of those ingredients, pitch them. Now I'm gonna tell you about some of my favorite skincare items. The best advice I can give you on sun care products is to do your own research. So I gave you some tips on chemicals to avoid and ingredients to make sure your sun care has, but again, make sure you do your own research and you know what's in the products that you're putting on your skin and on your face. Um, a little bit of the difference of sunblock versus sunscreen. Sunscreen gets absorbed into your skin, which is why when you rub it in, it kind of acts like lotions. It just gets absorbed into your skin and therefore sometimes absorbed into your bloodstream. Um, sun block, however, sits on top of your skin. So you don't need very much because it doesn't absorb in. And sun block oftentimes has that white cast and it's because of the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide active ingredients in there. However, you guys, I have pretty, um, my skin tans fairly easily, but I do get burnt sometimes, especially in the beginning of the season when I'm not used to being in the sun. Since I've switched to sunblock, I haven't been burned once. So it's, it protects your skin, but it still gives you a nice tan. The other thing you should always have on hand when you're going out in the sun is a great hat. 
like this one. I just got this from Anthropology um, and a great pair of sunglasses. So glasses protect your eyes, especially the delicate area around your eyes, um, and a hat protects um, the face. So eye. what do you put on your face when you're not going to actually go to the beach or be out in the sun? You need to wear SPF every single day. So whether that means you have a daily moisturizer with SPF in it, or you have SPF in the foundation or um, makeup that you use, make sure you have some sort of skin protection, sun protection, especially on your face. Um, so a couple of my favorites, I use this fruit pigmented tinted moisturizer from the brand 100% Pure. This has an SPF of 20 in it. I also use their powder that also has an SPF of 20 in it over the top of this in the summer. I got a couple items in recent Pettivore boxes that I haven't tried yet, but I'm excited to. It's the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair CC Cream, and this has an SPF of 30. Um, and then the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen, and this has an SPF of 30 as well. So again, do your research, look for those products, but make sure that you're protecting your skin on the daily. If I'm going to the beach or to a pool, I like to keep my sunscreen all together, and I actually use this pouch from Hayden Reese. If you guys checked out my top 10 travel favorites video, and I'll link it somewhere around here, um, you saw my beach bag or my carry-on from Hayden Reese and I love this brand because all of their stuff is made from sailcloth So it wipes clean super easy if you happen to spill something on it um, And what's great about their little pouches is you can even throw these in the washing machine. So I know that's Where to start where to start the best place to look for sunscreen in the store is on the baby aisle No joke so I went to Target today and I was looking in their sun care aisle in the beauty section and tell you a little story. I looked at the Neutrogena sunscreen, which is what I actually used to buy, and I flipped it over to the back. And of course, it didn't have titanium dioxide. It didn't have zinc oxide as active ingredient, so it wasn't protecting against UVA rays at all. It also had oxybenzone in it as an active ingredient, so it was absorbing that estrogen mimicking stuff into your skin. Neutrogena, however, also sells a baby brand of sunscreen, and their baby brand of sunscreen has active ingredients of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and doesn't have oxybenzone in it. It's the same brand, so I don't know why they're making better stuff for babies than they are for adults. Everybody has the same skin as they age. You should be taking care of it regardless of if you're an infant or if you're um, an adult. On to sunscreen. California Baby is one of my favorite brands of sunscreen or sunblock rather to use. I have two things. So I have the super sensitive, which basically only means there's no fragrance to it. Um, broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen stick. Um, this says it's water resistant and it's in again a stick form. So it's easy to toss in your purse if you're just going out for the day and you don't want to carry a lot of sun lotion with you. Um, this rates on the EWG website as a one. So very low toxicity, almost the lowest you can get. I also use their California Baby Super Sensitive Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen. Again, no fragrance. Um, this has 12% titanium dioxide in it. Um, again, a little bit goes a long way because when you put this on your skin, it does show up as a little white. So you wanna make sure you use a little bit and you blend it in as best as you can. While I was at Target, however, I picked up um, the Honest Company Sunscreen Lotion and this is an SPF 30. This has 20% um, of zinc oxide in it as an active ingredient. I haven't tried this yet, but rates also a one on the EWG website. So excited to try this against my California baby stuff that I already know and love this summer. The other brand that I love for sunscreen is a brand called Super Goop, and I don't have a bottle to show you. I use their Super Goop spray. Sunscreen sprays are less ideal than a lotion because the whole aerosol effect has different harmful ingredients that you breathe into your lungs versus putting on your skin. But it's an SPF of 30 or 50, and it rates a four on the EWG website. So in terms of spray sunscreen, if it's the easiest to take with you and use, get a version that's gonna be the cleanest version of whatever's most convenient for you. Cool. 
I also picked up, last time I was at Sephora, they have the Super Goop Sun Defying Sunscreen Oil, and this is an SPF 50. Um, sun tanning oils are obviously really bad for you. Most of them come in a very low, if any, SPF. They don't have good ingredients in them. They don't have the UVA protection in them. Um, but this oil is made from 100% natural ingredients. Last but not least, I wanted to share with you the sunscreen that I use on my face. I use a different sunscreen for my face than I do for the rest of my body because the skin on your face is much more sensitive and I wanna be sure I'm taking care of it and keeping it as young looking as possible for as long as I can. So the sunscreen that I use on my face is by the brand MD Solar Sciences. This is their broad spectrum SPF 50 UVA UVB sunscreen uh, mineral cream. And you can buy this um, tinted or not tinted if you have a preference on that. But this has 2% titanium dioxide and 17% zinc oxide in it. So both of those UVA, again, the aging rays um, blockers in here. And so also sunscreen on your face. I don't know about you guys, but if I have like really oily type sunscreen or stuff on my face, I tend to break out. And this hasn't given me any issues with, with breakouts on my face. So that is awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some helpful tips on what ingredients you should keep in and out of your sunscreen. Let me know in the comments below what, your suns what sunscreen you're using or what sunscreen you plan to pick up for the summer. Hope you guys have a safe and happy week.